Battlestate finally remembered that Arena is in fact a game that exists and decided to drop what is in my opinion a fantastic patch. Uh, most of the changes came in the preset system, unfortunately custom kits still aren't in the game, but the changes that were made have made the presets a lot more bearable. The most significant change in my opinion is that of the tier system. Thank God. Now when you are playing, you can only get queued against players who are using kits of the same tier. What does this mean? It means a plantain isn't going to run into a butcher anymore. The gear discrepancy is no longer a massive issue and you aren't going to lose to another team solely because of the fact that they have a kit that you literally cannot beat. There has not been a match where I felt like I lost solely because they just had better gear. There's physically nothing I can do against that. No, instead, it's, wow, they were just better than me, and that's why I lost. Overall, this just makes the game feel a lot more fair, and I'm so glad that it's actually in the game now. Additionally, unlocking presets is a lot more bearable now. It doesn't make me want to stick a fork in my eye like it did before. First off, the XP requirements are a lot lower. It is a lot easier to get different classes. Next, they added non-linear progression, thank god. Instead of using the kit right before another one in order to unlock it, all you have to do is use any kit within the same tree and select which one you want to start unlocking. This is much better because if you hate a preset, you aren't forced to use it in order to progress through that part of the tree. Overall, this has just made the game a lot easier to grind, a lot more, dare I say, enjoyable to grind. Overall, it doesn't feel like I'm slamming my nose into a cheese grater every single time I want to get a slightly better kit, and because of that, I'm happy. A change that might be slightly controversial but I really like is that there can only be one of any given preset that is used per team. If somebody is using a preset, no one else on their team can use that. So you're not going to get swamped by a team of five pharaohs anymore. Well, some people might be disappointed by this because they're not going to be able to run their favorite class every single time. If you are relying entirely on one class to win games, I'm sorry, but that is a you problem. And it also makes it so that balancing is easier. If there is a class that is slightly more powerful than others, at the bare minimum, you only have to fight one of them instead of having to fight five of them. The only other potential negative of this is that in order to advance tiers, you have to unlock five kits from that tier. You're not able to just instantly start playing. They have to do it this way because if somebody else takes the kit you unlocked, well then you're completely screwed. All of the presets just seem to be more balanced in general within their own tiers. There aren't any kits that really stand out as completely overpowered. There are some that are definitely a bit better than others. I, in tier 1, the one that comes to mind is the Ratnik kit. Uh, it's got decent armor, it's got a very solid weapon, and it has good ammo. So, while it is powerful in that tier in the hands of the right person, it isn't a crutch that gives you a win. So some kits are stronger than others, but not obnoxiously so like the Butcher Kit used to be. I'm just gonna keep complaining about the Butcher Kit. This thing was so completely unfun to fight against. If you were one of the people who intentionally deranked and then used the butcher kit so you could just mow through people who had no chance of killing you, I have no respect for you. So yeah, butcher got nerfed, his armor is a little bit worse, and he got dropped from M62 down to BCP FMJ. He's still gonna be fairly powerful, but at least now he isn't a guaranteed win. Keep in mind that this didn't just happen to Butcher, basically every kit, including the high-end kits, had some type of ammo nerf. Uh, Nightmare went from using 300 blackout AP down to M62, Reaper went from using APSX down to FMJ, Mutant went from BP to PP, etc. Um, if they didn't have their ammo nerfed, odds are they had their capacity nerf, which is what happened to Cobra. He lost his 30 rounders and now only has 20 rounders. I think that on the whole, this was a very good change. Everyone still has pretty high quality armor, so I think this will make fights more interesting. They'll be more drawn out. In old arena, when everyone was running around with BP, SSAP, 
stuff like that, fights were over in a split second. You just jiggle peek somebody, you put three rounds in their chest, the armor did not matter, they were dead instantly. If you were out in the open trying to rotate on somebody and they just barely caught you out of position, you were dead before you had any chance to get back into cover. I think overall this will make fights more chaotic and the CQB classes that didn't really have great ammo to begin with will actually have a fighting chance now. I think this opens up opportunities for more interesting movement, more rotates, and just overall more fun, whereas before it was if you are not absolutely perfect with your timing, you will lose every single time. Now we're going to talk about something that I'm not so excited about, and that is the armor system from Escape from Tarkov is apparently making its way into Arena. There are some elements that are already in the game, such as the plates and integrated armor. Uh, the Korund found on Tier 1 kits doesn't have any plates in it, it's just the uh, integrated armor, so w when you're using a preset, make sure you actually know what armor you have in it. That being said, I'm not so sure that this system belongs in Arena. In regular Escape from Tarkov, which at this point has kind of just become Gear Horror Simulator, it, it does make a level of sense. There is a degree of random luck. As annoying as it can be when a bullet just slips past your Tier 5 armor, it, it's less egregious. Whereas in Arena, this is not a game that's built on those ultra-realistic... It's very finely tuned around armor balancing, what ammo is going to pen and what isn't. So the idea that your tier 5 armor could just be bypassed by a stray bullet and go straight into your chest just seems a little goofy to me. Once again, I'm not sure how much of it has been integrated. What I do know is that the armpits are open for business. There is no armor in Arena that protects the armpits, so have a good time with that. It's not such a huge problem now where everyone already has terrible ammo that isn't going to pen the integrated armor anyways, but I suspect it will become a problem when higher tier kits are used and better armor that should actually stop these bullets is just getting bypassed. So yeah, that's, that's the only issue I have. Once again, I'm not sure how much has been integrated yet. The patch notes are kind of confusing, but... I'm, I'm not I'm not too excited about that. All right, that annoying crap out of the way. Let's talk about the new map, Chop Shop. It is an excellent addition to Arena. In my opinion, it is the best close range map in the game. Equator is okay, but let's be real. It's the Equator is a three lane map. There isn't as much interesting movement. There aren't as many interesting rotates. Chop Shop has a lot of those, and I am enjoying the hell out of it. It is fantastic in every single way except one, and that is this bullshit right here. Do you see that gate down there? That is the enemy spawn. I am currently standing in our spawn. Yeah, there's a small little barricade right there, but, um... Can I interest you in a hand grenade? There are hardly any classes with hand grenades in Arena right now, but flashbangs are incredibly common. And if you even have a slight understanding of the timing at this part of the map, you can just toss a perfect flashbang that blinds the entire enemy team as they are walking out of their spawn. Then you can just walk around the corner and when they're staring at a wall because they can't see anything, you can kill them very easily. If this happens to you, I highly recommend that you go prone and you hold either Alt in R or Alt in Q so you're doing that weird prone lean. I have been able to survive more than a couple encounters with that. They think you're a dead body. I had one, this guy was just hitting me with the, I don't know, Ben Shapiro fluoride stare and didn't shoot me and he kind of paid the price for that. Yeah, when you're coming out of these spawns, be very careful of throwables because there, there needs to be a wall or something right here so that you can't just casually yeet an explosive device into the enemy spawn. Other than that, I am absolutely adoring Chop Shop. It is one of the few maps where I actually recommend you try either Merka or Section 8. Because you're able to survive a lot of shots at this level, you can jiggle peek recklessly around corners and then come back and it allows you to do stuff like this.
знали, как нужно побеждать. All right, now I'm going to talk about the annoying bad stuff in Arena and if you should consider playing or not. And um, honestly, they didn't really add anything that was bad. They just didn't fix some of the issues that existed before. Predominantly, the desync still exists. There are still a few times where I'm just like, where did my bullet go? Um, in this instance, I, I, you could argue that it hit him in the shoulder instead of the face and that's why he survived. Except the death report cam claimed that I didn't hit him at all. So, where did the bullet go? So, that, that can still be quite frustrating. Also, the core gameplay and everything like that is still very much the same. So, if you liked the gameplay of Arena before, but were frustrated by gear differences that were completely unfair or something like that, then now is an excellent time to come try it out. If you didn't like Arena before because you just didn't like the gameplay, then there really isn't anything different about it, and you're still probably not going to enjoy what it's become. Personally though, I think Arena is in a much better state than it was before, and I have been having an absolute blast with it. I will continue to play it, and I hope that if you have been waiting, you come and try it out. I think now is the best time to do that. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I will probably be going live on Twitch this week, so be sure to check that out. I will be posting announcements on YouTube when I do that. I'll try to do it a day or two in advance now so that more people are able to see it. Next week, I will be covering what the best weapon in Escape from Tarkov is, so be on the lookout for that. But other than that, again, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.